Katie Allman reporting for TTN HD Production Live here at Rain Dance Toronto with Mark Purdy. Hi. Hi <laughs> Thanks. What inspired you to get into the business? Um, I guess doing something that I didn't love uh, for a long time and, uh, uh, you know, I just wanted to, uh, I was always, film was always a hobby with me and I at one stage just said let's make it a life and um, kind of stop the career I was uh, moving in and uh, just said full time I'm going to do it, you only live once. Um, so it was just a, just a real, you know, revelation sort of moment and so it's been, you know, four or five years I guess now since I made the complete transition from part time doing stuff to full time doing stuff. Ha has your background in law, being a lawyer, has that helped you in the enter transition into the entertainment business? Yeah, for sure. Um, it's it's definitely good, um, and I don't regret you know any of that education. It's very helpful from day to day when I put on my producer hat, and it's uh, it's great for um, you know contract law, labor law, um, intellectual property, copyright issues that come up a lot with uh, scripts and and, and ideas. So no, it's it's all good stuff, and um, just other connections that I've made through the legal world have actually helped me significantly in the entertainment world. Yeah. What are some of the projects that you're most excited about right now? Um, well, my company, I started it with two other partners. It's called Sky Farm Entertainment, and we we mainly focus on comedies. Mm -hmm. So um, larger, high concept comedies. We have one in development that's pretty far along called Brobots. Mm -hmm. So it's something that excites us. It's it's a it's a very much a screwball type comedy, um, in the vein of things like, you know, those '80s movies that everyone liked, The Weekend at Bernie's and stuff. Mm -hmm. But spliced with some newer type comedy and so Brobots is, is moving along very nicely as well as another project we're working on called Alien Spring Break mm -hmm. which is another um, big comedy um, lots of laughs and so we're just deep in development on those I don't want to jinx when those things will go to camera Alien Spring Break is not soon but uh, Brobots we'll see it just depends on how things go with the, with the, uh, the whole team how yeah. do you how do you go about choosing your uh, productions? That choosing the scripts and going about sure. you know how to get which one going. Yeah, I mean, I think it comes from different things. It could come from an idea that one of us has in our company, and then um, thinks about it, uh, and then wants to reach out to a writer. Um, people in our company actually write as well, so sometimes some of the projects are done internally. Mm -hmm. And other times it's just acquiring material where we read lots of scripts that we get handed along from um, people that we trust and uh, all the rest. So we read scripts, like it, and then recently we've just optioned a, a, a screenplay and a television series from a writer that we were introduced to last year. So I guess it just comes in all different forms, mm -hmm. either from, um, you know, it could be even a, a news article that you read that you think, oh, there's a movie in there, mm -hmm. or just some, you know, idea that you've been marinating on for a while, and, and it just bubbles up to be, uh, you know, something that's worthwhile to explore and develop, and maybe it goes somewhere, maybe it doesn't, mm -hmm. so it's a lot of trial and error, mm -hmm. and seeing, yeah. What advice would you give to someone starting out? Um, I would say... It's a that's a great question. I, I I would think the biggest thing would be um, making sure that you love what you're doing, mm -hmm. um, making sure that you uh, love film and TV production if that's what you want to get into. Because if you don't love it, then it will um, probably eat you up. Mm -hmm. Just because it's such a distance game and involves so much patience and um, uh, so much high risk high reward is, is basically the way I like to put it it's it's a high risk but the rewards high mm. so it's just jumping off that cliff and trusting that you yourself trusting that you are gonna stick with it and be patient and that would be my best advice because I don't think anything happens overnight mm. in in this business even with some of the people that you think are the most talented they've struggled for years to then get their quote-unquote break mm. so yeah, we're along that line of getting to where we want to get to, but it's a lifelong thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And where's the best place to find out more information on you and your company online? Yeah, so you can check us out at uh, www.skyfarm, S K Y F A R M, F A R M, ENT, E N T.com, skyfarment.com.
Great. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Thanks Mark, so much. and yeah. best of luck with all of your upcoming projects. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Thank yeah. you. Cool. I'm Katie Ullman reporting for TTNHD Production Live here at Raindance Toronto. Cool.